Hey guys, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. Hey guys, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, so in today's video, we're just gonna be doing a simple get ready with me, but we are gonna be reviewing a palette that I picked up from Amazon's website for like, I think roughly less than $9. So today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the House Laboratories Fame eyeshadow palette. Again, I literally picked this up for like $8 and some change. So that's the reason why I say less than $9. Um, this actually is before the rebranding or the, yeah, the rebranding of the brand itself. Um, so I picked it up because I kind of figured, you know what, for $9, it either could be a hit or a miss. But then again, they did rebrand the whole company, meaning they no longer sell this particular palette, but you are still able to pick it up on Amazon. I figured, why not? pick it up. If it isn't that great, it isn't that great. Anyways, you guys, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle videos, and hot messes, then you came to the right channel. All right, then you make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications. Dang, it's cold in here. Oh my goodness, sorry. <laughs> Squirrel moment. Anyways, you guys, give my video a thumbs up um, because it helps my reassurance that I know I'm not crazy. Anyways, you guys, so without further ado, let's have a drink of coffee. It is coffee, I swear. Um, tequila, whatever is your drink of choice. And let's get the ball rolling. I'm looking in the... <laughs> I'm looking in the mirror. So I just had my hair cut this past weekend. I feel like this side is shorter than this side. So I'm like trying to push up this little curl so it can be <laughs> even with this with this side. Anyways, you guys, the weird things that you see in the mirror or, or however you're looking at yourself, how however you're looking yourself, <laughs> however you're looking at yourself, um, <laughs> Anyways, you guys, yeah, anyhow. All right, so as I mentioned, we are going to be uh, doing a get ready with me, but more mainly really just testing out this particular palette. So again, this is the House Laboratories. Well, that's what it was called at one point. House Laboratories, this is the, which I don't understand. They call it the Fame Palettes on here, but then on here it says Glam, hold on, there you guys go, Glam Room 1. So which one is it? Is it Fame or is it Glam Room 1? Anyways, um, when I say the rebranding, it's because the brand has actually shifted in terms of like their logo, their design. Um, now it's called House Labs by Lady Gaga. I'm gonna be completely honest. The palette is actually really gorgeous. You see that? Um, again, I picked it up for like $8 and some change from Amazon. The palette is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the original name, House Laboratories versus House Labs by Lady Gaga because it's like it's almost like saying your brand can't stand alone so it has to be connected with somebody famous does that make any sense I don't know or maybe they could just done House Labs I would have been okay with that but yeah, I don't run the company it's not my company so whatever it works for them it works for them anyways you guys Let's go ahead and get started on this. Let me go ahead and prime my lips because I've done enough to chat. <laughs> um, yeah, how was your weekend? How was your day? How's your day going? Is it crazy like mine? All right, let me get my eyebrows done. I mean, my eyelids done. Oh my goodness, I tell, I'm telling you, you're getting in my ear. They, they don't understand the craziness that's in my head. <laughs> okay, let's get these eyelids primed, all right? I got this again from Ipsy. Yeah, new primer. I'm 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 really liking this primer, YSL Collections. Let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, guys. So I got my eyelids all primed, ready, set to go. Um, uh, to go. <laughs> now I don't know what I want to create. I never do, to be completely honest. Um, put this here because the mirror bounced back. Anyways, you guys. Um. But I definitely want to just create something very subtle and easy. So I think I want to stick with the like these really nice pinky shades. So I think we'll do that. Um, which one should I go into first? Let's go into this one and I'm going to apply this directly onto the actual crease line. So let's do that. Let me get a brush here. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go into this Tresluce Beauty brush that is B111. And the reason for that, because it's kind of like a packing brush. So I definitely just want to use this to apply the product right above the brown or kind of like in the brown socket or eyelid socket or eye socket, however you want to phrase it, and put that particular eyeshadow there because then what I'm going to end up doing is just buffing it out so that I can get more of like a, 
kind of like a nice transition between the actual lid and above the actual crease area. Does that make any sense? Because now I'm hearing myself and no one does it. So how was your guys' weekend here? Mine was okay. Um, I didn't do much of anything on Saturday. What I ended up doing mostly was kind of like painting a little bit around the house. I'm always painting, I swear. Like, I feel like... If I painted a room three times, I got to paint it another three times. All right, so as I'm packing this on, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting frosted, like a frosted appearance overall. Not a bad thing, but I probably should have used this as more as a topper because it's not paying off right away. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. That's what happens sometimes. You test out like an eyeshadow and it doesn't perform at least the way you had thought in your head, but... We will make it work. Let's just continue going on. I should have used this above here and used a darker shade. You know what? Let me do that. Let's go into this shade right here. And then I'll just apply that directly on that. Hopefully it doesn't mess it up. But we will see. Let's just take a look and see if it works out. Yeah. Much of a big difference here. These shadows are pretty, but... Huh. I'm saying huh because... I, I feel... I don't know. I feel like... Okay, let me not say anything quite yet. Let me just continue messing with this <laughs> and then figure this out a little bit later. I just, something, something about these shadows, these two that I just used right now. I don't know. Let's just continue going and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Okay, so I got that shadow on. Now I'm going to get more of a blending brush. <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I, I, some. Right now, I'm still not feeling it for some odd reason, but let me just go ahead and buff this out a little bit. I feel like I brought a little bit too high up for my own personal liking in terms of the shadow because if you've seen prior videos of mine, you know that I like to keep a little bit of this a little bit more still open, even though the monitor does look like it, but in person, I don't see that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and just buff this out, bring up a little bit of the product a little lightly so it's not too harsh, and then let's just see where we go from there. Okay, so I got it buffed out, blended. Well, not technically blended out, but yeah. Bu buffed out, buffed out, buffed out, buffed out, buffed out, buffed out, buffed out. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so let me go ahead and clean this brush out. I don't know why I'm yelling. Oh my God, it's too early. It's... I need more coffee. Calm my butt down. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm... Hmm, I'm going to go into... I cleaned it off, as you see. I'm going to go into this... Hmm. Should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? We will try. We will try. I don't know. It just seems like gold right here when I went like this. So it's almost like that mono. Wait, uh, I can't think of that right. That word, uh, chromatic. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Because when I go here, it's gold. But then when I look right here, it's pink. You know what? Let me not. Let, let's just wait on that one. Actually, <laughs> let's go into this middle purple right here. That's actually really pretty. And then I'm just going to apply that directly above here. Hopefully, it's light enough. Or should I go into this one? Because we already know that's pretty light. Oh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> so to be on the safe side, since we already know this is a pretty light shade, let's just go on this one, right? So far, I'm just using all metallic shades. I haven't used any of the mattes, but then again, they only have four mattes in here, but whatever. Um, there's a lot of kick up, not gonna lie. All right, so let's just go ahead and just apply this directly above this color right here. Okay, I'm not sure what it is with that shadow. For some odd reason, I want to like the shadow, right? I do. I, I mean, it looks nice on the monitor. I'm not going to lie, it does. But then again, you got to keep in mind, it's all this light that helps out look imperfections make look it better. Wait, that didn't sound right. Anyway, anyways, um, but when I look in here, it's just, it's it very pops. Like, it's almost kind of like a, a highlighter, and which is fine, but I don't know, something with the shadow. I'm, I'm not too fond with it yet. All right, let's just continue finessing this and see how it turns out, right? We'll do that. I'm just going to finesse a little bit more, buff it out, and then we'll go into another shade. Like, I'm I'm really trying to love this shade right here. I just don't know why I'm not. I, it's nice, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? So I definitely want to try this darker purple... <laughs> Purple. purple I definitely want to try this darker purple so what I'm gonna do is apply that shadow in the outer corner of my eyelid hopefully it's dark enough where I can able to like buff it out but I'm gonna use this brush I love using this brush um, just in case if you want to know this is a Mac Mac 
I can hold things right. It's a MAG 219 brush. Now again, I like this brush a lot because it has more of like a narrow dome applicator. And I like it because it allows me to apply have more control where I'm applying the shadow. So this way I can apply it there and then buff it out afterwards. Um, that's just personally me. I like to have a little bit of control as to where I'm applying the shadows because I have a tendency to over mess things up as you saw the first time around. Anyways, I'm just jibber jabbery. Let me just go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm not going to dust any of the product off that I just picked up. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. I'm just, I'm just curious in terms of the pigment level and how much is there like. We will see here. Huh. Okay, I mean, there's a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just work it this way where I'm applying it, right? As I mentioned, just work it up, applying the product, and then I'm gonna go in with a separate brush and buff that out. Okay, so I did a bl I, <laughs> I ended up buffing it out right there very minimally. I didn't put a lot of that product on because I didn't want it to be too heavy, but I do like how it turned out. Okay, all right, you guys. So let's go into, you know what? Let's just go into that one shade right here. Again, for some reason, it looks gold, but then when you shift it around, it doesn't, it changes colors, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna use the same brush. Let me go ahead and clean that brush off when I say the same one, I'm referring to the MAC one, because I wanna have a little bit of control as to where that shadow is going to go. It's gonna go. <laughs> All right, got it clean, right? So let's go ahead into this pan and let's just go ahead and apply it right in the inner corner of my eye and see what it does. All right, you guys, let's just, let's just take a look. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like in the pan, it looks very unique, but when I'm applying it on my eyelid, I don't get the same effect. I don't know, maybe it, it's probably just me. It's just, it's, it's, it's in my head. I mean, I like how it's coming out, but let me just try my finger here. I'm, I'm just curious because look at this. You see this? Okay, my finger is performing the way I see it in this pan, right? Like, look at this. And this is the problem that I don't like using my finger because then it kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. it. It muffs out the actual shadow because you're taking the natural oils from your finger and kind of like messing up the palette but whatever, let's just take a look here and see if there's any huge difference. Slight, slight, not much, but slight, slight, but much. Okay, that packing brush of that, that the first shade that I ended up using, not the lighter shade, but the second shade. So technically it wasn't the first shade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply that, to whatever little bit of product is still left over. And then I'm just gonna bring it on the waterline area and just kind of buff it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a Tress Loose Beauty. This is an Intenso liner. I don't, oh, Fuete is the shade name. Um, so it's pretty much like black. So I'm just gonna apply this on the waterline area just to kind of get the eye look to pop a smidge more okay you guys so i threw on some mascara on here to kind of complete the overall look isn't it crazy how just like a makeup can really change your overall eye appearance i mean look at this eye comparison to this eye like right I'm telling you like, okay, I see you, I see you. I mean, I see you, I see you. Anyways, guys, so with the magic of editing, boom, I'm gonna get this eye done. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I was able to go ahead and complete the other eye with the magic of editing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so what do you guys think of the overall look? I actually think it came out pretty well in terms of like, you know, working with the palette. Again, this particular shadow right here in the edge, the first one I use, I don't know what it is. I mean, it came out okay with just some working. I just personally think it's just a personal choice that reason why I didn't like the shadow. I don't think there was anything wrong with it. It just didn't work in my favor in my head. But I was still able to create an overall decent look. Let me give you a close up here. Like, I love the way it actually performed. It's really nice. It blended out quite well. I think honestly, this is a really nice um, eyeshadow palette that you could use every day, complete, to be completely honest, just because the colors are pretty like um, standard in terms of like eyeshadows. I just wish there was a little bit more mattes in here because again, not everyone wants to use the metallic shadows, but it is what it is. Look, for nine bucks, you can't go wrong. If you're in the market to get a decent eyeshadow palette, go check out Amazon. If I remember <laughs> during editing, I'll include a link in the description field 
below directly to the um, to this particular on Amazon. I don't have a storefront, so I don't earn anything back, um, which is perfectly fine. I don't need to, but um, I just definitely thought I wanted to share this with you guys, especially for nine dollars. If you're able to still pick up this particular palette, especially for someone who's just getting into like the makeup world and they don't want to spend like buku kind of money, but also don't want to get like no shade to like Elf or Wet and Wild, but you don't want to get that type of formula, but you still want to get a decent formula. I definitely would pick this up. But I love hearing what you guys have to say. What do you guys think about this eye look that I created today? I think it came out pretty nice, but again, I like to hear from you guys. Now, if you haven't done so already, before you leave, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up because as always, I greatly appreciate it. But until then, make sure to brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye now. I need. I swear I need Jesus. Bye now.